Oh, my mom's not home right now. Well, that's okay, Melanie. Actually, I came here to see you. You see, I spoke with your mom the other day, and she told me you were home from Europe. I wanted to see if you would help out with Tyler for a while. Oh. Oh, yeah, I miss Tyler. Come on in. So, hey, how's she doing? Well, not so good. Lately, she won't even talk to me. Well, how can I help? I have to go out of town. And by that, I mean way out of town. Antarctica, actually. Antarctica? Really? Yes. It seems that 50 years old, I'm going through a major career change. Glacier studies. But look, I won't bore you with the details because I'm sure you're not interested in any of that. Oh, no, Mr. Payne, it's not that. It's just... Don't you think that if Tyler's having this trouble that you probably shouldn't leave the country? Look, I can understand why you'd feel that way, Melanie, but let me see if I can explain it to you like this. One day, and believe me, I hope this never happens to you, but one day, you may find yourself in a little room and it feels like the walls are just closing in on you and you don't know what to do. Well, that was me, and- Mr. Payne, I haven't seen Tyler in years. I just, I don't think I'm the right person for this. You'd be doing us a huge favor and Tyler would be so much more comfortable if she could stay at home. Won't you please consider doing this for us, Melanie? Please? Okay. I'll do it. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much, Melanie. You have no idea how much you're helping us out. Now, tomorrow, you'll have to pick her up from school. She goes to Arno Elementary School now. I need to talk to you, Clive. There's something I have to show you. Just lucky they didn't call the police on you in there. Why would they call the cops on me? He tried to kill me. He's a murderer, Dad. No, he's not, Brian. He is your dentist. Of course you won't believe me. You could never believe me. Diane, he is 30 years old. He's still living at home with us. He's never held a real job, and he thinks he's a damn superhero. He needs our help, Dave. He needs a lobotomy. That's what he needs. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's your son. I cannot deal with this. I'm out of here. I got a job. I have to work in the morning. You're the president of the company, Dave. You can set your own hours. Brian? I know I haven't exactly been there for you through the years, but you do know that I love you, don't you? I love you too, Dad. <laughs> Son, what do you say when I go for a little ride and fight some crime together today? You want to be my sidekick? I do, son. I really do. Let's go. I think we made the right choice. I really do. I might have gone with you. But I don't think I could stand to watch them take him away. I know, sweetheart, I know.
Channel 5, your news at 11. Stocks at Zycorp take a downturn. NASA discovers a new star. And a local dentist is arrested for murder.